Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. This is part 7 of online shopping cart project. In our previous videos, we have seen how we have designed this admin panel. How we have added a new category, a new product and the design of this entire admin panel module. In this video, we are going to see how we have designed the home page of shopping cart so first try to understand that in this ASPX page we are using a table the first as this is tabular structure we have the header we have the products and product category banner then we have the one more table and the footer so let's move towards the design of this ASPX page the page name is default.aspx page to add this page you can right click on the project add new item web form and name it as default.aspx and click on add when you click on add you will an empty ASPX page will get add, added in your shopping hard project. Now here inside the body by default you will be getting a form and in that form we have to add a script manager. We have we need this script manager because we are using Ajax update panel. Now why we need this Ajax update panel because when we click on any particular product category without the page getting refreshed all the products in that particular category are getting loaded because we are using Ajax update panel in order to use that update panel we need a script manager both these controls script manager and update panel are available in the toolbox in the Ajax extension like we have the script manager and we have the update panel both so first we have the script manager then inside that we have a content update panel the update panel structures is like we have the content template and inside the content template we will be displaying or designing our own content so as you can see inside the content template we are having a table a table align equal to center and the style in this header section of this ASPX page we have a style section and in the style we have dot style one the style one is only having attribute width equal to 900 pixel so the table this table will have a width of 900 pixel because the class which is getting applied is style one now inside this table we have three table rows TR1 TR2 and TR3 so if we look at this we have this TR TR1 is nothing but the header this part from this heart till the shopping cart icon and the incrementer above this line is the TR this is the first table row so let's discuss the first table row inside this TR first table row we are having a TD and in that TD we are again constructing a table so that table we have the align center style same as the first table style one and the border bottom style is rich border width is medium and the border color is somewhat violet so this is the width and we are having a line over here which is nothing but the border which we have applied to it then inside this table we are having one and two table row the second table row is empty and the first table row is having a lot of table data one two three four and five so the first td holds the image the shopping cart the heart shaped logo the 
second td holds the link button on which on click of this link button we are directed to the home page which shows all the products irrespective of their category and we then we have a br tag and then we have the tagline for those for those who love shopping then we have another td the class we are having a uh, class 7 class 6 class 8 which we are applying to the this tds and uh, then we have an image shopping cart dot jpg this beautiful girls walking over here and then we have an image of the shopping cart icon and here we are aligning equal to right we are aligning this part because this is entire td and in this td we are aligning it to right and this is another td and in this td we are aligning it to left left and so it's look like it uh, the counter looks like the both are near to each other okay so this was the first td the first table row and uh, we have the style 8 style 6 and style 7 these are already defined in the in the style section style 6 the width is 260 pixel style 7 the width is 427 pixel style 8 the width is 108 pixel and text align left for style 6 text align equal to center for style 7 and text align center for style 8 as well so this was the first table row so we are dis we have designed this page till this violet line now let's move towards the second table row the second table row holds nothing but a simple table with style 1 and a border and inside the table we have a table row and two table data and it's quite obvious from the design we have two table data one data one table data is holding this popular products at shopping heart and others the products or i mean category so we have the label we have applied some font size we have some four color and similarly we have the label the text the font size and the four color so this second tr is quite simple let's move towards the third tr which is the main part of our project the third tr holds a td inside this td we have a table now now inside this td we have a table the third row third tr is holding a table the align is center and the style is, is style one because it's uh, it's the width seems to be similar or the width have to be similar to this because all these things are in one line <coughs> so this table is having two table rows the last table row is nothing but the footer where we are writing the copyright icon and and copy then we are having the 20 finger to brains dot blogspot dot com the blog which we are using for this 20 fingers channel then we have uh, two pipes and then we are adding a link for admin panel so that admin can navigate from here to the admin panel so the second td is uh, tr is quite simple this will add a footer this footer this footer will get added with the copyright 20 fingers to brains dot blogspot dot com and the admin panel now the first tr this first tr is having two tds we will only see this first td in this part okay so the first td we have the style 2 the style 2 is width equal to 633 and text align equal to left so as you can see there is a little bit of space over here because this products Nokia Asha, iPhone, Lord Krishna painting are getting aligned to the left side and their vertical align is to the top okay so this 3d is having a panel 
this TD is having two panel. First is P and L products. P and L products. We are adding a panel P and L products, and the scroll bar is equal to auto height equal to 500 pixel, border color black, border width one pixel, border style inset. Then inside this, we are having a data list. Inside this, we are having a data list. This is panel one. Okay, so with pan the panel products. In the panel products, we have a data list. We have named it as DL products. This data list is. Carrying all the products with this image, the price, the add to cart button, and the name of the product. On the left hand side, on the right hand side, we have the product categories. So for this product categories, in the second TD, which is having style three, V vertical align is top and align is center. The style three, the width is two fifty seven pixel, and text align is center. This is P and L categories. So, at a time when user clicks on the home page, two panels are visible. The first panel is PNL products, and the second panel is PNL categories. So, in PNL categories, we all again have a data list which we are named as DL categories. Now, how this, how we have designed this two PNL categories and PNL products along with this data. Data list. Let's move to the design mode. In the design mode, as we already know, we have these PNL products, and then we have these PNL categories. So these are two table data TD of this uh, of this TR. This is one TR, and this is TD TD. So in this panel, we are adding a data list. The data list is available in the data section. Of this toolbox, we have this data list. Drag drop this data list here, and name it as DL products, and drag drop another data list, and name it as DL categories. Then inside, when you click on this, we have a smart tag. When you click on smart tag, click on edit template, and inside this template, again you have to create a tabular structure. This tabular structure will have a table. Dot style four, and this is one TD. This is another TD. This is third TD, and this is fourth TD. Inside the fourth TD, we have to add a button. The button can be added from the toolbox. We have standard, standard toolbox. Then we have the we have the button. We, when you add the button, you can right click properties, BTN add to cart, and then. Click on this. So this is the event which get which gets fired when you click on BTN add to cart. So once this is done, you can select on the smart tag and end template edit. When you end template edit, do the end template editing. You will get a structure like this because in this table a structure. We have this item template inside this item template. We have a div align equal to center. Then we have a table. The table, as as I've discussed with you, cell spacing one, style four. Then it's a normal table. We have the tr. Then we have the another tr. We are going to add the image, then the price and the button. So we there the style which we are applying is style four. The style four is nothing but width equal to one eighty five pixel, and the text align equal to center. Similar way, we are adding the PNL categories. Here also, we are doing the same thing. On edit template, we are simply adding a label link button. Sorry, simply adding a link button, and on the click of the click of this link button. 
वी आर हैविंग एल बी टी एन कैटेगरी एंड स्क्रो क्लिक इवेंट दिस क्लिक इवेंट विल गेट द पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट्स इन दैट कैटेगरी so we have this line if we go in the design mode we simply have the item template and uh, this link button now if you want some other design you can go and auto format there are a lot of designs available here you can select any one you want okay so let's also move towards the some of the data binding patterns over here in this label we are actually showing the name of the image name of the product so here we have to in the text we have to use this evaluation function and this function will bind the name from the data source which is binding the data to this data list uh, similar way we have to for this image we have to bind the image source so that the image gets binded to the image inside the data list at run time similarly for the price we are using bind price and similarly for the button we are using the product id because that particular product should get added to the cart you will come to understand this when we debug this entire code and similar way in the button category in the text we are using the category name and the command argument we are using the category Uh, I'll discuss with you this command argument in a later stage. So this was the designing of the home page. In the next part, we will see. how we are binding the data to this data list and how the on clicking of the particular category a data is getting displayed in the data list and how on button click the counter is getting an increased and uh, the user is redirect when we click on this this is actually a link button when we click on this we are again uh, getting the new products which our user have added in his cart so thank you for watching this video for more videos you can visit youtube.com/20fingers2brains also you can visit our blog 20fingers2brains.blogspot.com if you like this video you can put a comment if you have any query or any doubt uh, please do comment so that we are aware about your queries thank you very much for watching this video